Hola amigos Hola. and welcome to today's mukbang. Yay. For today's mukbang, guys, we are heavily inspired by TikTok uh -huh. because today we have fufu with pork stew. It's Nigerian, Nigerian pork stew. Yes. It's supposed to be beef, we know, but we do not have it because it's so expensive here. <laughs> <laughs> so we made this. And I will link the recipe down below. I learned it from this YouTube channel, My Active Kitchen. Shout out. This, guys, is fufu. And it's Instant. from a box. I know we always say, oh, we never cook from a box. But Sometimes there is, you need to. Yeah, because there is no other way to get uh, fufu, guys. I mean, there is. But we don't want to have to, you know, mash it. Then we have Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies. Oh so, my. we're gonna try. Oh, are you ready? We washed yes. our hands. We're gonna just take up. Ooh! Look, guys! It is the right texture, I think. Yay. And then we're just gonna dip once, and after that, we're gonna put in our own plates. Yeah, because. Or dip a lot, because the fufu doesn't have a taste to it. Whoa! Okay, let's go. Mmm! Mm. It tastes mashed potato. <laughs> I think the consistency is wrong. Hmm? Is that so sticky? I don't think it usually is that sticky. It's okay with really. that. But the sauce is so good. Yeah, I was afraid we wouldn't like the fufu. Mama, can, can I have that? I was afraid I wasn't gonna like the fufu because everyone all loves it's it. That. Everyone loves it on TikTok and I was like, oh, I don't want to be the first one to say I don't like fufu. <laughs> but I actually like it, the texture. It's like um, mashed potatoes. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of mashed potatoes, but I have my moments where I love it. And then, Mama, we're supposed to use our hands for the fufu. I see, I see, sorry. <laughs> Mama has OCD. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Your bowl. So we're gonna put in our own bowls. Okay. Do you get how? Did you get me? How? Oh. Yeah, I got that. You you, you oh, flatten it's it. It's so hot. You flatten it and then the, then get the the meat. How? Like that. It's so hot. How are you doing it's that? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow, with the meat, guys. Mmm. Yeah, but you have to eat it with the meat. Wow. Yeah. If you don't burn yourself. Yeah. I am so bad at eating with my hands. But in the Philippines, we do it with the rice. It's easier with the rice. It is easier with the rice. And I don't know how you're supposed to, like, Pick up the meat. I'm burning my fingers. I guess you have to be really fast. Ha, ha. <coughs> it's so <coughs> oh. spicy too. Oh. I'm burning. <coughs> That's why people are saying they're burning. You will burn your fingers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. The stew is so good though. How do you do that? It's spicy. Maria was the chef. Yeah. And I was the sous chef. For the first time, guys, I was the one who did most of the cooking. And Mama did the... Oh. It's so hot. You're not burning your fingers. No. Oh. Okay, I was asking her instructions. Yeah, and but she did. Oh, you used the fufu as a shield. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. With the real fufu though, I watch videos on YouTube. Um, they put. It depends. Like it's usually in. They did it. It's originally from Ghana. Uh, in the western part of Africa and then 
they all do it in different ways um, with some use just plantains and then some use just cassava and then in the Nigerian area in Nigeria in the Nigerian area in Nigeria they use uh, the two mixed together uh, this though it's what did they put? They put like potato in it too. Mostly potatoes and then plantain. And when they make it, they use this. It looks like a mortar and pestle. Ah. No ah. Just a, a mortar and pestle. The steak, they call it woma or inchi or kachi. It's like different for the different dialects. They call it different things. And then. For the bowl, they call it eto. Eto na. In Tagalog, eto means this. Hot. <laughs> mm. mm. You're supposed to just swallow the fufu, guys. You're not even supposed to chew it. But we're eating it with meat. Yeah, so you have to chew it. <laughs> I love this stew so much. It's spicy. We put cayenne Savory. pepper and chili. And it felt so gourmet because I blended the um, bell pepper and tomato and turned into this paste looking thing. And it felt so gourmet. Mm. <gasps> this is so messy. The meat is so spicy. Mm. Oh, Mama doesn't didn't donate. Usually in these mukbangs, she's like, "Oh, I donated because I have to heal. yeah, I will donate in May, May see. Yeah. So when you donate, guys, you have to make sure you're okay. <laughs> like they will check too. They will check your levels, but you have to see like. If you're super tired all the time, obviously that's not good. Yeah. I've been so tired, so I have to heal. On your so gums? That, that would be, yeah, my gums are pale. So that would be six weeks of uh, rest. Mm. I want to make more food from around the world. I know we usually do do that, but I want to try more food like that we haven't tried. I think this is my first time trying African food. Mm, hot. Mm. I love that thing with TikTok that everyone are trying food from around the world. They're less people are less scared to try now. Yeah, because it's a bit tiring to eat the same thing. Mm. I also haven't gotten a response from my school yet because it was Easter break. So the two weeks, it, uh, I said, it usually takes two weeks for them to respond. So this will be the second week. So that's why they don't have an answer yet. I think they're going to answer this week. Yeah, because it's the second week. Yeah. Today is the I no, last Monday. This week. Yeah. But it's okay, they can take their time. <laughs> I'm feeling something in my tummy. No, already? But I guess that's good. Mama's been having problems. <laughs> the plasma donation will dehydrate you. Mm -hmm. When I was exaggerating, here in Denmark, they say you have to wait 28 days before you donate again. But mm -hmm. there's a loophole on their website. They give Give blood website. Mm -hmm. I'm loving the fufu by the way. Um, it's saying you can donate every 11 days. So I was doing it every 15th day. Mm -hmm. But because I'm diabetic, I'm like naturally dehydrated. Yeah. So you need to follow. If it's plasma, just do it once a month. Mm -hmm. Just to be safe. Yeah, mine looks like that too. Oh. We have square ice now. I, I don't know if we showed it before. It's square.
where we found it in Vertex. So cool looking. Mm -hmm. Oops. Soon I will make Jalebi mm. fried chicken and Jalebi spaghetti. I'm so excited about that. We still don't have Jalebi here. I don't know why. There's so many Pinoy. Filipinos. There's lots of Filipino restaurants here. Yeah, but we haven't found one we like. I like one. Mm. Mm. But they don't sell jalebi fried chicken jalebi. Somebody should open a Filipino restaurant and have all the fast food there. Mm. They can't write jalebi or anything, mm. but Filipino spaghetti, that's not copyrighted by jalebi. So they could make that. Mm. Mm. I love this Rice Krispies and Marie made it with oil instead of butter because we ran out of butter. It's been getting really warm now guys and you can see the light is perfect. Oh look I made this. Anyways, okay. um, the, it, the weather it's been getting so good it's been getting so hot. We've been uh, traveling around a bit. We're going to show them the giants. Well, just two pictures. I can show the pictures, but if you guys want to see more, you can go to my Instagram and I always show them. We will go to all of the ones that are close to us. So How all many? of the ones in Copenhagen. There's six forgotten giants and then there's more. So the six forgotten giants. They're made giants, of wood. It's by Thomas Dumbo. He's a Danish. <laughs> he's a Danish artist, and it's so cool because he has made one hundred of them all around the world. Who pays him? I really don't know now, because I thought it was something by the commun uh, by the government here in Denmark. Uh, but then I learned it. He made them with the help of volunteers and you know his people, but. Valent, so cool. Tears who are unemployed. Hmm, so nice. And then they usually make the head of the giants mm. in the workshop. In the workshop. But then the body, they usually do that on site. They're not so easy. big. Mm. And I will show a picture. I actually went there um, before. Yeah, in a vlog. So I can show videos of that, but when I went there to Trine, I went on top, like I went in her palm. And they're made really securely, mm. so you can go up on them. Some of them needs a bit of uh, some TLC because <laughs> the, the other one, um, Louis, is missing some body parts. <laughs> It seems like someone stepped on him. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, it's okay, you can do that, but there was like an indention. Yeah. It's missing a part of his tummy. And his uh, legs too. Yeah, and a toenail. <laughs> I don't think it was um, someone was trying to break it, but I think they yeah. were standing on him and then fell. Mm. And it's been so cool. When I showed Mama Trina yesterday, it felt so nice because I had already gone there before, so I was showing Mama it. And, and it was like when we were in Shrego and I was showing Mama around. I like that. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's like you've been to a place and then you show your loved one the place. Aww. It's cute. <laughs> but that's the only one I've seen, Trina. Because she was just walking, yeah, and we were biking yesterday. Mm, and it was raining hard. Well, it's raining. So, next today time, it's sunny. Where, where will we go next time? Amma? So, there's yeah, there's like two in Amma, I'm not sure. Two or one. Oh, there's one more. There's one in Tostrup where we lived before. So, we're gonna go there. Oh, okay. There's That's one in Isai. Long ride. Isai is, uh, is closer to Copenhagen. That's a long ride, isn't it? Like two Still far. Mm. Uh, two hours going there. Mm. Huh? I think yeah. I think we will do vlogs when we go to those ones because the ones we've been to are more like chill, and I've already been to the one of them. But the other ones, 
I think we're gonna vlog, but individually. Mama was saying, oh, film all of them and put them in a video. It will be too long, I think. Because I thought there was only six, but there's so much more. And then there's a lot in Yuland. There's one in Yuland where it, he's sitting on top of the of a of a car. Freaking omega three. What? Oh, wow. oh where in where, where in Yuland? Um, we should go. Love love. There's one in Uden, so I think that's not Yuland. Though. That's in Finn or something. Is that close to Yuland? Yeah, it's the island before you land. It's closer to us. But oh. we wouldn't be able to bike there. Our train? We could, but... Can we... We can bring... Train. We can bring our bikes in a train. Yeah. So we can go around. Oh, we're planning on going to Skien. Mm. Are we going? You know about Skien? If you're Swedish or Danish, you know. Or Norwegian, but even more first region Danish because it's on the very top of your land. And I will show a picture, but it's like a tip, <laughs> to pen. Yeah. And Tell yeah, them. there's two waters there, separate waters, and they won't join. There's <laughs> like there's two different currents, and they're going into each other like this. And so if you stand right there in the middle. It will go into you. You can't even swim there. It's not allowed. You can swim on well, on either side, but you cannot swim in the middle. Because it's too dangerous. But it looks so cool. And our both of our favorites. Are, can I have this one? Do you want? You can. It's yours. When we have a, a bread, a loaf of bread, and Mama wants to feed it to the. It's rye bread. bread. It's yeah, bread. but the thing is, when we lived here before, we were easily able to feed the the birds when we were in Tostro. But here, it's everywhere in around Copenhagen. They're like, do not feed them because they have to go. The the pigs, the pigs, the the rats. Oh, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed today's mukbang. Please go down below and subscribe if you like. And like if you like the video <laughs> and also i know there's no outro music and i will explain next year so there is drama going on in the world of youtube right now but i can't even i can't talk about it so it's not really a big of a deal for you guys too much unless you enjoy the outro music but i don't really use music so much in my videos anyways but anyways i will talk more about that later i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and look at the background that can you see that that's cocoon i'm making a crochet cocoon for mama and it's halfway done but i need more yarn but i will show you guys it when we're done and yeah thanks for watching guys Gracias por ver, and we will see you the next time. Adios, amigos. Ooh. I had to drop out, guys. Yesterday, actually. It's very fresh still in my heart.